my name is Amy. I'm a sales engineer at WebSense and today I'll be discussing with you the steps to take to change the way a website is filtered via configuring custom URLs. You can recategorize URLs to change the way websites are filtered. This moves a URL from its master database category to a category that you choose. So we'll go over two ways to do this. Moving a site to a different master database category and adding a site to a custom category. To start, click Recategorize URL on the right-hand side. To add a site to an existing master database category, select the category in the list. To place a new URL in the selected category, click Add URLs. Type one or more URLs or IP addresses in the window. So I'll recategorize gmail.google.com from the default general email category to business and economy. After I click OK, the recategorize URLs list for the business and economy category shows the site I've added. You can also create your own custom categories and then add sites to those new categories. To do that, select a parent category like user defined and then click add. You'll enter a unique name and a useful description for the new category. Then list one or more URLs that you want to find in this category. I'll add Wikipedia. And I'll add a dictionary site. Finally, select a default action for the category, like permit or block. The action you select is then applied to the category in all of your existing category filters. And when I click OK, the sites appear in the recategorize URLs list for the new research category. Save the changes, then verify that the sites have been recategorized. I can do that by using the URL category tool and look up that site. Let's check out Gmail first. And now we see it's recategorized under the business and economy category. And let's check Wikipedia. And it's under my new research category. If you need more information on this, check out support.websense.com. Look for the article, How Do I Add Custom URLs or Recategorize Existing URLs.